He lives in Lexington, Kentucky, a beautiful city. So I asked Chaz this afternoon, how did you end up there? My dad played football at UK. Uh, so he went there and played football, and then we moved back to Ohio, and I was born in Ohio, and then ended up, he liked it a lot, so we moved back to Kentucky, and we ended up in there ever since. I love Lexington, do you? Oh, it's beautiful, and it keeps growing, you know, uh, they're doing really good things in that city. It's, I mean, it's noted, obviously, for the bluegrass and the horses, I mean, great, great race horses. Is that still as much alive there as it's ever been? Definitely, definitely, especially in Keeneland. You know, Keeneland starts in October, I believe, and it's three weekends. And it's unbelievable. It draws, it draws unbelievable. Do you have any interest in horses? I do. I actually like going. I'm, I don't bet a lot, but I like going and watching it and uh, ha having a group of guys out there. It's, pretty, it's a lot of fun. Do you ride at all? No, no, never rode. Don't do that. Your contract says you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How about how's it going in the bullpen? Uh, Buck says a lot of very positive things about you. He's put you in situations that matter. How you feel? Comfortable. You know, I'm feeling very comfortable out there right now. And uh, just being able to get the opportunity to go out there and pitch, it's, it's you know, it, it's definitely boosts my confidence, putting me in those situations. We hear a lot from the guys in the bullpen about the camaraderie out there. Can you speak to that a little bit? It's unreal. You know, uh, we, all, we all mesh really well. Uh, we get to bounce things off each other. We learn from each other every day and, uh, you know, just take, pick each other's brains. So, What are you working on? Right now I'm working on a changeup. Uh, just another pitch to get a lefty out. Uh, it's, it's work in progress, but it, it's getting there. Circle, regular? Uh, regular, yeah, just a regular change. And I've tried uh, a bunch of different grips, but it's still a comfortable, comfortable thing, trying to get comfortable with it. Who was your primary mentor as far as pitching is concerned along the way? If I say, you know, who taught you how to pitch, what would you say? I mean, growing up, my my dad and my brother were a big part of that. Uh, my brother pitched, and he, he actually wanted to top my, my slider. And I fiddled around with it a little bit, and it ended up being pretty good, so I stuck with it. And then uh, once I got the pro ball, just a bunch of different guys, you know, just can't really pick out one, just a bunch of different guys I got to talk to, bounce ideas off, and just learned everything along the way. Do you find most pitchers are willing to share what they have? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, they're to a certain point, you know, but uh, be able to pick somebody's brain, it helps you out a lot, especially some of these older guys, the veterans, and, uh, you know, it definitely helps you. When did you have a sense that this was a year you might, in fact, be here and be up here for a while? Tell you the truth, I, I didn't, you know. I came in here, and like I said, I came in here as a great opportunity, and I, I didn't okay in spring training and then started out a little rough and uh, trip away and then once i started getting uh getting hitting my stride and it got called up and that's when i knew chaz it's great to have you here and doing a heck of a job for the bullpen we appreciate it and uh thanks for sharing lexington